Hey, what's up guys? Sadness here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're hopping back to some more Lobotomy Corporation where I try not to get my cheeks clapped by abnormalities. And we are going to try and figure out this one today, probably. This one I'm kind of scared of, I'm not going to lie. We also have this tree over here and a tool, uh, but we'll figure those out on different times. So, first things first, I love how we just have An Angelina here. Just level one, just living her best life. All right, anyways, so let's figure this one out. We're gonna try um, instinct, I guess. You're up, Lynn. Well, that didn't work. Yep, that didn't work. I think that um, Gus is going to have to go in there because Gus has black resistance, like black damage resistance. So we're going to send Gus down here and see. I think that's our only hope, really, because this thing just instantly annihilates people's sanity when they go in. You can do this, Gus. Oh my gosh, we succeeded one time. Did not expect that to happen, to be honest. Okay, I guess I can send Lynn, in, Lynn into this one, like always. I have an idea, actually. Because we need to give Sadness the armor. Because that has 0.4, so resistant to black damage. Oh yeah, Sadness only takes 2 and 4 damage from this thing. Or 2 to 4, it looks like. Which is our best hope, to be honest. Barely won that one. You got this, me. Oh my gosh, I'm cracked? I'm cracked! Sensor. 5 to 10 black damage, 32 boxes, and you can never get a good work result. That's interesting. Cliffhoth, the abnormality's Cliffhoth counter can be raised by one via a special work type. To satisfy the abnormality, an employee must be selected from a random drawing. I'm not sacrificing somebody to this thing. I'm sorry. I don't even know what's happening because it's all censored. So what if it's something really messed up? I also should mention we have to end the day without a single containment cliff off meltdown timer reaching zero, which should be, we should be able to do that. I think I'm sending Gus to do this. And if Gus gets the pink helmet, I'm going to be real sad that it wasn't my character. It says the instinct is common for us, but it doesn't seem to work out every time. So that's fine. Employees of level 4 will, and lower, immediately panicked when they encountered the abnormality. When censored escaped, employees of that level showed the same response. When an employee panicked in the containment unit, the Cliffhoth counter lowered. When the work result was bad, the Cliffhoth counter decreased. Okay. We're getting there. Lynn's cranking this one out. Oh my gosh, sadness went crazy, but we just managed to do it. I don't know how it's not escaping, but I'm not even going to question it. Oh my gosh, sadness. Do you have a crowbar? Oh, you're going to break something. Okay, I need Kite and Gus to suppress, please. Quickly. Oh my gosh, I'm so fast. No, not that one. Not that one. Okay. Um, stop suppressing sadness, Gus. You're going to kill sadness, Gus. You're going to break another one? Bro, my guy is too quick. go no damage we're screwed i'm too good okay 
Uh, we're screwed. Might as well send Kite to do this as well, because why not? A tree. Okay, doesn't look so bad. Does white damage, and white damage barely affects Kite, so we're good there. Grave of Cherry Blossoms. Another grave, huh? We have a grave and a funeral on the same floor. I really need Sadness to be healed up, please. I don't know if Sadness is going to make it in 13... I mean, I do zoom. Go, 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 go. One second to spare. Oh my gosh. Okay, repression didn't work at all. Wait, what's happening here? Why are you all glowy? You were doing so good, too. Guys, <clears throat> this tree right here has an ability. Well, I'll read you guys all of these just because I've been unlocking them. But check this out. When the work result was good, the cliff off counter lowered. When an employee panicked in the containment unit, the cliff off counter lowered. When the cliff off counter reached zero, a few random employees in the facility began to move towards the grave of Cherry Blossom's unit. This was this status was designated as captivated. When a captivated employee reached the containment unit, they were dragged into the tree and they die. After continuously attempting to select and converse with Hunter, who was captivated, they seemingly returned to normal. When all captivated employees returned to normal, the cliff off counter returned to maximum. After dragging an employee in, when another employee commenced work with Grave of Cherry Blossoms, its cliff off counter returned to its maximum. Furthermore, the HP and SP of every employee in the facility was healed. Now that ability right there, I'll tell you guys what it just did. So Sadness panicked after leaving uh, Censored. And this procced the healing because it dragged in a clerk and then we sent Kite to work with it. He instantly healed Sadness and Sadness isn't crazy anymore. So that actually was super clutch right there. Um, apparently I failed that though. Because someone had a meltdown. Um, okay, that's fine, I guess. All right, guys, we're almost done with the day, and I'm going to go with some safe bets now because we've actually made a lot of progress on. We've actually made a lot of progress on censored. You can see here. Um, I have all of these, all of the managerial guidelines. So we're making some good progress. I also got the mimicry weapon from nothing there. So that should help. All right, and then we end the day before all of that happens. Got an S rank, 24 lobotomy points. We're doing great. We got one panic, but that's fine. We still got an S rank. One day you all understand the meaning of the desperation on their faces when the roulette spins. It's a good day. Are you still shy today or ease yourself? Do you not have need of the blessing? Circle one again. I am a machine. I can remember everything. There was once a certain someone who held a certain belief. That belief was hope, a light full of aspiration. Proof that the world was not yet wholly beyond saving, a compass that guided people toward and but along the path they should follow, a destiny placed upon them, meant to be carried since the beginning of time, a noble instinct forgotten by most people. That person warned us that we were slowly calling forth an inescapable disaster. The same person also told us that we were all losing something, and that we didn't even know what it was we were losing. Not a single soul believed that story at first. Everyone was able to walk, see, hear, and speak. All disease had long been since been conquered. Eventually, more and more people joined alongside the strong belief held by that person. In a place where history and promises were gone, it was a precious step. Although it took a lot of time to conclude that the shell must be broken, once the decision has been made, all seemed well. Welfare team or disciplinary team? We'll go disciplinary, I guess. Okay, so I know we need Lin and Sadness over here. Kite Pan, not so much. We'll move Illusion down here as well to deal with the uh, Blossom. 
thing. And I think we're all good for now. I got to double check my YouTube to make sure nobody else wanted to be in. I'm going to go check real quick. Okay, some weird kind of plant thing. I suppose we'll send Kite Pan in. Let's go for Insight. I don't know what happened, but that was kind of cute. The little face. Um, I'm a little worried what this leaf means. A bud sprouted on the upper part of D-04-108 when Reinhardt finished work with it. And they were blessed and enjoyed increased work speed and SP. When repression was perform was performed, the cliff off counter lowered. Okay, so that just makes, that's a blessing. That makes it better. And there's a little sprout now. Interesting. Let's try instinct, I guess, because that didn't go so well. Another abnormality escaped the cliff off counter. Lowered with a low probability. When five works with other abnormalities were completed, while this one not being worked with, it lowered. Okay, great. So that's another one where we gotta like... Let's do attachment, I suppose. And then, um... I don't think I ever read nothing's there, uh, or nothing there's thing. If I did, just skip ahead, I suppose. Um, because I really can't remember. An abnormality whose appearance resembles a human, but cannot and should not be human. It periodically devours employees and wears their shell. The skeleton and organs are misplaced during the process, so it takes a bizarre form. The abnormality does, does have a tongue, however, it has no knowledge of speech and as such cannot talk. It can only make meaningless sounds. There is no telling what is inside its shell, but its skin continuously wears down, so there is a need to change and maintain the outer layer. It is insensible to pain. It may break its own bones or cut itself up to escape through a small crevice. Bit by bit, we discover that this abnormality may be evolving. It demonstrates behavior similar to the character of the person who used to be its shell. It even makes attempts to equate itself with human beings. When it escapes, it wears the skin of the person it killed and mimics them. Then, without any sign or forewarning, it reveals its true slash second form. In its true slash second form, it resembles... Uh, its resemblance is much similar to that of humanity in comparison to its earlier form. The new form is confirmed to possess bipedalism, meaning it walks on two legs, properly aligned organs, and the addition of greater physical strength. All the employees are afraid of this form. A warning of something. If it has been confirmed that it has escaped and stood on two feet, there is only one thing you can do. Straighten up your posture, gather your hands neatly, and pray to whatever you believe in, and observe the situation as it unfolds. Just like how we observe abnormalities as employees, nothing there observes us. Then it puts on the shell of an employee and thinks of itself as the employee that just died. The sight of that thing eating one of us is horrifying beyond words. Just trying to think about it might drive me mad. Heading to its containment to check this state of its shell is a toil on your mind too. Imagine that a colleague of yours who you chatted with just a few days ago is now sitting in that room, neck snapped, guts exposed, walking on all fours, drooling like a beast. That's not all. When I was still a new employee, no one else was willing to enter its containment unit, so I was forced to go in and work with it. It looked even worse than it does now. It was in the shape of a horribly deformed human. What's worse? It tried to mimic humans, doing stuff like looking into a mirror, mumbling to itself, or trying to fix its skeletal structure. It's as if it was trying to mimic us. Who knows, it might get good enough to casually walk among us one day. Warning, only employees level 3 and higher are permitted to read this document. This recording is a of a call of the containment unit's emergency phone. Phone systems are installed in every room of abnormalities of risk level AG or higher, to enable quick threat response. Employee 1. Please pick up. Please pick up. This is con the containment unit of nothing there. The emergency response department. Hello, this is the emergency response team. What's the problem? I need a stun gun right now. There's an emergency happening. Can you please specify the reason? The abnormality. The sounds of something breaking can be heard. 
It's ripped up the employee. Excuse me? It's killing my colleague. We'll respond immediately. Please identify the employee being attacked. It's, uh, wait, one sec. Their name's Redacted. Control team. I'm Redacted. Also control team. Confirmed. What's currently happening to your colleague at this exact moment? Yeah, just please hurry. We need a weapon to control the abnormality. A loud noise can be heard. Presumably the scream of the colleague. Oh god, this is... What's happening? The abnormality is attacking my colleague. It's literally ripping them apart. I can't do anything. I repeat, we need a weapon to control the abnormality. The emergency response team has been dispatched. They will arrive shortly. Redacted. What's happening now? Is it still attacking your colleague? Yeah. Oh no. I think it's done now. Has it stopped attacking? No, I mean, my colleague. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead, all right. How can he be sure? Well, it's because he looks... He's... Has he been ripped up or ripped up somehow? What body parts are damaged? All of them. This is brutal. Excerpt from counseling lo counseling lock. No, okay. Then he put it puts on the shell of an employee and thinks of itself as the employee that just died. It mimics the employee's usual behavior, the way they walk, likes and dislikes, and every other visible trait. We can only guess how carefully and for how long it has been observing the employees to imitate them. What I'm trying to say is we can't just treat it like some dumb, scary monster. Even now, it could be strolling about wearing the shell of someone we know. This abnormality is becoming more and more like a human. Its transformation is getting faster, too. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. If the time comes when we fail to recognize it, it that will be the day the company falls. We must stay ever vigilant when dealing with this abnormality. The following is a recording of the abnormal behavior of an employee exhibited in their last moments after they became a shell of nothing there. Manager, manager. Man, you've been looking for the manager for quite a while now. You've been acting really weird today, too, you know. What's with the weird smile? Anyhow, I sure hope we get pasta in the cafeteria for dinner today. I'd love some of that thick bacon. Oh, we just got an emergency notice. It says the last employee to work with nothing there should be... Or should get to the counselor's office immediately. Wait, wasn't that you? Hey, say something. Manager, manager, manager. The second employee proceeded to take immediate action upon hearing that. However, nothing there tore out the shell of the first employee, or tore out of the shell of the first employee, revealing its true form. The recording only includes audio files, so what happened or what kind of behavior the employee exhibited still remains a mystery. The shell was the shell with nothing there inside tries its best to mimic the behavior of the employee it killed moments ago. The action of the last employee eyed their final words, those sort of things. And many shells cry out one word, manager. Interesting. My brain was potatoing when I was reading that, so my apologies if that was kind of brutal to listen to. <laughs> when the cliff off counter hit zero, it summoned employees to its containment unit to bless them. When five buds have been sprouted, it turned dark and its blessed employees panicked. After some time passed, stems ripped through them and turned them into saplings, which strikingly resemble the abnormality. And it secretes a contagious and highly fatal toxin. They need to be immediately removed to decontaminate the area. The saplings do. Okay, so... Height has a blessing, but if this thing, if the flip-off counter reaches zero, they will go crazy and then die. Probably not the best thing in the world. And we finish censored. We can get a censored weapon that is 15 to 30 black damage fast, but short range. And censored eye. Any attempts to describe censored will be cause severe mental corruption to both the speaker and the listener. Therefore, it is forbidden to record any depictions of the appearance of this censored. All audio and written recordings should be inspected to ensure that such depictions are deleted from them. All, working, all work pertaining to this deletion must be designated to level 5 or higher employees. Randy, it's a shame that we have to send such a capable employee like you to its containment unit. Do you have any last words before proceeding? Of course, when I say last words, it's just a precautionary thing. 
It can't be helped. I'm the employee with the highest resistance against cognitive breakdown. I've been apathetic towards everything since I was a kid. People often said I lacked empathy and wasn't normal. However, when I got to work here, my abnormal my abnormal ability became the key to save everyone. This is something that can never be experienced anywhere else. Let me say this again. While it is true that you have the highest resistance among employees, the only base that's only based on human standards. If you begin to suffer from a surge of intrusive thoughts or you decide to count down from 10 but fail to remember what 10 even is or feel an uncomfortable regurgitation of vomit or saliva or if this place starts to feel like somewhere else other than the company or you suddenly feel insignificant and think that suffocating is your only hope, you need to leave the containment unit immediately. If you tell me that one more time, that'll make it 13 times you've said that now. We cannot monitor you in real time. All cameras are off and your audio re re uh, record will only be updated after the work is finished. Needless to say, I'm worried about you. Why don't you repeat the instructions I gave you a bit ago? Go in, don't do the work myself, a company employee censored, and observe the work process, and record everything that happens. Even if censored is in danger, do not attempt to rescue unless ordered otherwise, right? Exactly. Now, our contact will be cut off in 10 seconds. Good luck and Godspeed to your record. I have no regrets. I'd say I'm pretty lucky compared to others. At the very least, I get to leave my last voice record. Well, I say last, only as a precaution, but... Alright, your record will be internally achieved, and all our fellow employees will remember you. 3, 2, 1, end audio receiving. Randy, that looks just like our sensor from long ago, doesn't it? Oh, I forgot, only I can see this. Employee who was with me became... It looks like it can even breed. Employees who was with me became... This is just like the process of censored. I feel a little sick, but I'm good. A small censor came out of employee censors censored. I can't believe this. Now it's starting to... Oh god, what's happening? Employee is screaming like the cries. Can you hear them? It reminds me of... Oh god. Did that employee just breed with this thing? And then maybe it had a baby or something? I don't know. That's weird. Now I can see this is our, this is the reason it exists. This is the worst thing I've seen in my life. I can't even move. Looks like censored has made me its next target. Soon I will censor too. It's getting closer. I'll put the recorder in my, I hope this recorder will help everyone. Audio cuts off. Even after we adopt the cognition filter, many of our managers have lost their minds. Half of them gone because of censored. Even if we raise the cognition filter to its maximum settings at the risk of having our employees and other abnormalities being perceived as extremely simple objects, the managers will still be driven insane as soon as this abnormality comes into sight. We cannot make our manager blind just because of one abnormality. We're stuck in a dilemma. The only uh, solution we could come up with was a suggestion of one of our employees. It was to cover the abnormality with a giant set of sensors and blurring. If a flaw in the system disables the sensors covering the abnormality, we will once again have to sincerely consider how to dispose of the manager. Wow, that's brutal. Okay. We still haven't got to see the gun in action, so we'll have to send Sadness after some stuff. After this. See how much range it actually has, because if it has a crap ton of range, we might be able to use it to take out Snow White's apple. Which takes normal white damage, so that's pretty good. Come on, get the helmet. Get your 1% chance helmet. Nope. Alright guys, we've cleared the day. We're done with censored other than getting the weapon. So I'll probably do censored a couple more times just to get the weapon. Uh, then we can focus on other stuff. And we're fully done with nothing there. Uh, to my knowledge. Um, we're fully done with army in black. We need to finish this one, which we don't need too many more to do. And then we need to finish World Tree, which will probably be our... Th we'll probably finish World Tree and this tree, and then we'll finish the uh, this tool, whatever this tool does in the next episode. Still a little worried about this one. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll figure it out. Just like we figured out all the other ones. 
And if I can get these two figured out, we can definitely get that one figured out. So wrapped up the day. No one died. S rank. We got a promotion and we completed a mission. That was a good day. However, if enough Sar Sarira are found from you that everyone looks on in awe, your name will be sung for generations. Tales say that the moon bewitches man, yet in reality, it is the man that despairs at the moon. This magical bullet can surely hit anyone, just like you say. Let's do the moon one. I like moons. In our world, the mine has lost everything. Its weight, its significance. Now it is nothing. Everything advances, but the human mind is simply too slow and placid to catch up. All that remains are the 26 singularities and those who are tied to them. Humankind had deserted its former beliefs and now has little respect for the various pillars that had supported us. These days, no one ever dreams. Nobody ever earnestly believes in something or wishes for anything. The belief once strong within a certain woman is now obsolete and worthless, abandoned like an old music box. Everything has gone quiet, as if nothing had happened in the first place. However, A couldn't stand that despicable silence. So what do you think happened to him? On a bright sunny day, with clear skies, he died. I was both the first witness of his death and one of the culprits in his murder. However, A has always existed here, watching you ever since you stepped inside. Sometimes the Sephirot would ask me this. Why do we have to bear this pain? A machine should only exist as a tool for its specified work. Why do we have to know the cold agony of loss, the insidious poison of obsession, the soft light of wishing and the unbearable pain of despair, then the hope to embrace it all with open arms? I thought I could answer anything, but not even I could answer that particular question. A machine must behave as a machine. That phrase was something A told me often. Perhaps A, the one who knew or who would know better than anyone about this fact, made us like this because it's all a stage play, no, a puppet show for him. You seem to have no idea. Well, of course there's no way for you to know, but now it is time for you to know the answer. It's something I've always done. First as a hope, second through agony, third in pain, fourth for anxiety, fifth out of distrust. Now nothing remains. Commencing memory synchronization. Huh? What? Who are you? I'm the manager? Ah, you're the new manager. Sorry, you don't look anything like one. The other departments may kiss your ass while you walk around with an air of arrogance as the manager, but here, that pompous attitude will nod itself into your nose. Well, seeing that you've at least made it here, I guess you won't be a complete dead weight. I'm Gabura, head of disciplinary. We're the best department when it comes to combat out of all the teams. We have no need for cowards. You want to know what kind of person I hate the most? Those cry ba babies who constantly whine about abnormalities or employees being pitiful things. How they don't want to see anything die. It's the exact same as a soldier refusing to kill in the heat of the battlefield. As long as you're not one of those annoyances, then we should get along just fine. You really seem to hate cowards. Shouldn't it be obvious? They're a hindrance. Let me ask you this. What do you think abnormalities are? Holy entities? Four defenseless creatures caged underground? Precious beings that make energy for us? Totally wrong. They're none of that. Abnormalities can be damaged but never destroyed. At the very least, they seem to feel pain. Let's make their unending lives as painful as possible. Suppress five abnormalities of risk level H or lower. I don't have anything that breaches that I can actually... I don't think... Do we have to finish all the missions to win the game? Because I honestly don't think... With my abnormalities, I don't really think that I will be able to let anything breach. Um, and actually survive. That's the problem. All right. We're going to wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day, guys.